The film begins with a man waking from a car crash. He appears to have amnesia since he cannot recall the events. He walks toward the road for a while before flagging down a passing car, but the driver swerves off road. The man opens the door of the car, only to find the driver somehow dead. He immediately calls 911 from her phone, but when they inquire about his name and location, he realizes he does not know who he is. Checking his wallet, he learns that his name is Liam Hartwell. A crow falls to its death on the top of the car, prompting Liam to run away. Liam reaches a town and stops at a roadside diner where everyone is dead, with their eyes blank. A car crashes outside, and Liam discovers the driver dead. Assuming the air to be poisonous, he uses a piece of his shirt to cover his nose and mouth, and continues walking. Using a map from the diner and the address on his driving license, Liam walks through several places until he reaches his house. When knocking provides no answer, he breaks through the back door and goes inside. Inside, he listens to his voice on the voicemail, confirming it's his house. While playing with a decoration, Liam has brief flashbacks of himself in a boat. He hears news reports speculate about biological warfare. He seals the hole he made in the back door with tape. Hearing a tractor noise outside, Liam finds a farmer and tries to warn him to leave the area. But the farmer can't hear him. He writes the message on a tray and tries to warn the farmer, who approaches to read it and drops dead. News reports further talk about how the deaths have only occurred in the regions Liam has been through. When a crow's cause keep distracting him, Liam goes out to test his theory. As he approaches the crow, it drops dead, and Liam realizes he is the cause of the unexplained deaths, not a virus. With this realization, he drops the cloth covering his face. While trying to discern the distance at which people drop dead from him, a car passes by, prompting Liam to immediately run back. He thinks about calling 911 but decides not to. He covers his windows with curtains. While he's out peeing, police officers approach him after finding his truck and Liam struggles to maintain distance from them. As a police officer comes close to Liam's hiding place, birds begin to drop dead, with white eyes, terrifying the lady officer. At night, Liam has another nightmare of the crash. He wakes up sweaty and sees a woman trying to enter his house from the shed. He alerts her with a noise and the woman tries to approach his shed while calling his name. Liam tells her not to come close and pleads to her not to approach the door, but she manages to knock on it without dying. Curiously, yet hesitantly, he opens the door, but she does not die. The woman is also suffering from amnesia and asks if he knows her, but Liam doesn't, and reveals that she was with him during the car accident. When he asks for her help, the woman reveals that she too doesn't remember anything. When the woman asks to look inside the house, Liam is surprised that a dog, while touching his feet, doesn't die. After asking how she knew him, the woman reveals an officer told her that the truck was registered in Liam's name, and she came to him for help. She goes through his belongings, but Liam says they don't live together, since the house has no women's belongings. Not remembering the password, neither of them can access his laptop. She then goes through his medicine cabinet. Returning to Liam, he has another recollection of him with the woman at the Smithburg Oakdale Bridge. They both trace it on the map and decide to drive over, though Liam is still reluctant about it. While driving, he notices cars now pass by him without crashing. He asks her name, but since everyone is calling her Jane Doe, he dubs her that. At the bridge, neither of them can recall what happened, but Liam is certain that he knows Jane. Jane tells him that the only memory she has about her life is from childhood when she was in line to see Santa Claus and ran away after a child removed his beard. While they chat about it, Jane suddenly remembers a memory of them together, and she remembers dumping a piece of paper in the water. She grows frustrated at the lack of her memory, and Liam decides to investigate the crash site for more clues. As they drive, more news reports discuss how the authorities are still struggling to understand the mysterious deaths. At the crash site, they come across a charred circle, but picking up charred pieces of wood, Liam discerns that a fire didn't cause this. He has another recollection of a thunderstorm and immediately asks Jane where she was when she woke up. They were both on the opposite ends of the circle. Liam explains his theory about the deaths, believing anyone who comes close to him dies. Jane reacts fearfully insisting that he stay away from her, and accuses him of keeping it hidden from her when they first met. But Liam insists that since they were both in the same circle, it must have affected both of them, but now they are back to normal. Jane accuses him of killing innocent people and walks away. As Liam pursues her, the police officer from earlier drives over and starts questioning him. Recognizing Liam, she interrogates him, but drops dead when Jane walks off. Jane, seeing this, starts to run away, but Liam catches up to her and insists they stay together but get out of there. Using a goat, Liam demonstrates to Jane how living creatures near him will die, unless she is within 15 meters. Liam wants to go to the hospital to understand what's happening, but Jane was CT scanned after the crash, 
and nothing showed up on her scans. She, furthermore, reminds him of the panic that it will cause. But Liam insists he needs to figure it out, and Jane tells him to get a CT scan just for his amnesia. While at the hospital, he has another recollection. During the CT scan, the nurse asks Jane to leave the room, but she insists Liam is claustrophobic and needs her in the room. They agree to keep her in the booth and proceed with the test. After the test, he grows increasingly nervous about the results and turns on the TV, where he discovers that he's been linked to human deaths and is wanted by police. As they're about to leave, they see police officers in the corridor. A doctor appears from behind and says he's been looking for Liam to discuss his findings, but refuses to reveal the results of the scan without a consultation. Liam pressures him, and the doctor tells Liam he is healthy. Worried that the police may separate them, he and Jane quickly flee the officers. While running, Jane pauses when she recalls a missing person poster of herself. When she refocuses, she sees Liam in the elevator without her. But before she can reach him, the door closes. She races to follow it through the stairs. Liam urges the occupants to leave as soon as the doors open, and he tries to isolate himself until Jane can rejoin him, to prevent death. Jane manages to catch up to him on the final floor, relieved that nobody has died, and they finally leave the hospital together. They spend the night hiding in a scrapyard, and Jane comments on how she was missing before, and is still missing since she cannot remember herself. Liam wakes up from another nightmare of the crash, and sees Jane beside him. He goes out to sightsee, and Jane hears a news report on the radio, which reveals Jane's name to be Rose Darewood. Her husband, Sam, appeals for her to come home. Rose tries to persuade Liam that they should ask Sam for help, but Liam refuses and tells her to go alone, and that he will wait it out in the scrapyard since he's a danger to the public. But Rose tells him that her husband could be the reason she ran away from home, and Liam is the only person she can trust, convincing him to accompany her. They find his location, and Sam identifies Rose, but Rose tells him to get in the car. Sam, thinking something's wrong when he sees Liam, tries to pry open the door, but she tells him to trust her. She tells Sam their story. He does not believe them at first and threatens to call the police. But Liam demonstrates the deaths of birds who get too close by pushing Rose out of the range. Sam allows them to hide behind his shop and goes to scrap their car. Liam discovers a missing person's poster with Rose's face in Sam's shop, but the name says, Lily Grayson. Sam returns and though hesitant at first, eventually explains that Rose had a twin sister, Lily, who disappeared a year ago and could not be found. Rose became increasingly depressed, even suicidal, because of this, and kept searching for her and placing her posters. But Sam and Rose had a final argument, after which Rose went missing. Rose suddenly remembers trying to jump off a bridge while looking for Lily, and Liam saving her life. He then offers to drive her away from the scene, after which their accident happened. Rose suddenly comes to, and sends Sam away to find food for them. She tells Liam how he saved her life. As Liam and Rose grow closer, Sam becomes jealous. After watching her sleep with her head in Liam's lap, Sam confronts her about this, but Rose insists that she neither knows Liam that well, nor Sam. Liam has another recollection of himself driving Rose up north to Liam's remote cabin. He finds the location on a map, and in the morning, Rose and Liam try to convince Sam to leave for the remote cabin, since it'll keep them away from the population, but Sam insists he has closed the shop and no one will visit. Liam reminds him that the police could come to his place to look for Rose since she's a suspect in his case. Sam agrees to drive them to the cabin, but Rose and Liam tell him that they have to do it alone, since Sam can stay behind to argue their case with the public, and their dynamic worsens. Rose finds a diary of her likes and dislikes that Sam left for her, and thanks him for it. After seeing this, Sam immediately softens and begins to regret calling the police. He warns the fugitives to leave immediately, giving Rose cash and keys to his car, but it's too late, as police officers surround the house. Sam goes outside and insists to them that they have to take the two together, but officers can find him in their car and go inside armed to arrest Rose and Liam. They try to separate the two for questioning, and the two insist they have to be together and struggle against the officers, but they manage to separate the two, causing all the police officers and many onlookers to die. Seeing this, Sam agrees to their plan and decides to stay behind to convince the public of their innocence. While they drive, Rose tries to convince Liam it was not his fault who feels guilty about the deaths. Stopping at a gas station store, they see a news report mentioning that an unexplained cosmic anomaly struck Earth in the spot where they had their accident. Rose wants to call Sam to tell him to contact NASA, but Liam tells her that Sam's phone must be tapped after the incident, and he'll figure it out on his own. As they drive, a car follows them. They reach the cabin and find it empty. In the morning, Liam explains his fear that if the authorities are unable to find a cure for him, they might lock Rose with him for perpetuity and she doesn't deserve it. 
Rose tells him that she doesn't care, and Liam goes outside to take a look around. Behind him, while Rose is about to put up a fire, she notices a secret compartment with a diary, containing missing posters of several women, including her sister. Rose suddenly remembers how Liam, while taking her away to his cabin before, mentioned Rose's missing sister, despite her not mentioning Lily. On the final page of the diary, Rose finds her name, proving that Liam is a serial killer who abducted and killed her sister Lily. Meanwhile, on the boat, Liam remembers dumping a body in the lake and attempting to abduct and kill Rose at the time of the cosmic anomaly. They recall how the accident was caused by Rose struggling against Liam, and how before he could kill her, the anomaly struck. Rose confronts Liam at gunpoint, unable to accept it, but Liam insists he no longer remembers. Though broken, Rose asks him where her sister is, and Liam points towards the lake, and she sends him to retrieve the body. Liam stops inside the lake, beckoning Rose to shoot him because of his guilt, but she is unable to. She takes him to the cabin, but a man and his two adult sons take them hostage, thinking Liam is a terrorist. Liam tries to run away, but they catch up to him, and the man instructs his sons to kill Liam. Liam tries to back out of Rose's range, and she tells him not to, but he backs further, causing the father and one son to die. The remaining son shoots Rose just as Liam's aura kills him. He rushes to help her, but Rose refuses to receive his help. Liam eventually picks her up and drives Rose to the hospital. There, as Rose is taken away for treatment, she calls out to Liam, only to see him shoot himself in the head, and the movie ends.